Uh, the billboards in Detroit shape the auto insurance problem in Michigan with the tagline, thanks, Lansing. Uh, by one reckoning, even if we cut Detroit's rates in half, they would still be twice as high as they are for drivers in Chicago. What can you do, and I am urging specificity here from all of you, uh, to not just bring down Michigan and Detroit's insurance rates, but to dramatically address this huge cost of living here? Lieutenant Governor. It's a huge issue, Devin. It might surprise people to know, and I looked at my auto insurance rates, $514 what I pay every six months for my 2012 Ford Fusion. I live in Ionia County under the current laws, under the current system. So we know that there are big problems that need to be changed because if I lived in Detroit, the rates would be sky high. So I came out with a, a very specific auto insurance plan that could actually pass through the process. Do away with this all or nothing approach where the, where the like six, seven, eight reforms are all packed into a single bill and that bill dies under its own weight. Instead, we should take the issues where we can find widespread bipartisan agreement. First, a fraud authority. Staff it up, give it teeth, make it a real deterrent so you can get rid of the cost differential from places like where I live to Detroit. Beyond that, we need transparency in the system. The MCCA, the Catastrophic Claims Association, needs to be opened up so that we can see exactly the cost drivers and pass reforms that we know for sure will make a difference in the rate without costing us a good that, system to take care, take care Governor, of people that is, in, in that, our case, in, that are hurting races. Attorney General Schutte. You know, we pay the highest auto insurance rates in the nation, about $1,000 more than any other state in America. That has to change. Three very specific things. Number one, we need to crack down on insurance fraud. Secondly, we need to stop frivolous lawsuits, which means tort reform. And three, give consumers, citizens of Michigan, more choices in their insurance coverage. I was at a parade in uh, St. Clair Shores the Sunday before Memorial Day, and a guy stopped me on the street and said, Bill, cut auto insurance rates because my daughter is not going to move back to Michigan because of the cost of auto insurance. You know, we want people to come to our state. We need to grow our state, which is our biggest challenge. But when we're penalizing people and punishing people because of high auto insurance rates, that has to change. You know, the Democrats in Whitmer, they'll just stay with the status quo. Nothing's happened in seven years. As your governor, I will cut auto insurance rates and give Michigan families a big pay raise. Senator Colbeck, your turn. Yeah, well, the reason things haven't changed in seven years is because there's these competing requirements, what's viewed as competing requirements on auto insurance. We've got a group that wants to lower auto insurance rates. That's definitely in my category. And we've got folks who want to uh, protect lifetime benefits for those who've been injured. I support that as well. So as an engineer, I try to find a way where we can satisfy both of those requirements. Because in Lansing, they can't seem to go off and realize that you can actually solve both of those requirements with a good solution. So the way I approach it is I actually look at my own insurance premium. And it turns out that 58% of, uh, of the line item costs on my insurance premium deal with state mandates. You eliminate the state mandates, you get out of the uh, um, no-fault system, go back to a tort system, we have an opportunity to reduce our premiums by as much as 58%. That puts us below the national average. And I can do so in a way that actually retains the lifetime benefits by looking at how we dispense funds from the Michigan Catastrophic Fund. It has a $20 billion balance on it. It's got $369 million in interest every single year. It's time to go off and get creative. It's time to put an engineer in charge and of fixing time, our insurance. That's time. Dr. Hines. There's no question that you, the voters, are paying way too much, not just in Detroit, but all across the state, way too much for auto insurance. As has been said, we, we need a fraud authority. It's full of fraud. We need a fee schedule. Imagine if I, as a doctor, give you a prescription for a chest x-ray, it may cost $65, but if you're in an auto accident and you have that exact same chest x-ray, it's over $600. We don't have transparency. We need a fee schedule. Now, I would ask my opponents, you've been in office for 8 and 16 and 34 years. Why all of a sudden now are you coming up with a plan? This is incredible. I'm an outsider. I'm a small business owner. I've been in the private sector for 30 years. The solution is pretty easy, but we've got to handle it. We've got to tackle it right away.